The population of Israel is 8 million. The population of countries of the Arab East exceeds 200 million people. This is the hottest region on the planet, nine full-scale wars in less than 70 years. Israel entered its first war the day after declaring its own independence on May 15, 1948. The armies of five Arab countries invaded the territory of the newly formed state and were thrown back in disgrace. The Suez Crisis, the Six-Day War, the Yom Kippur War, the First and Second Lebanese Wars, classics of armed conflicts of the 20th century. Daily Alarm, rocket attacks followed by retaliation in Palestinian territories, a quarter of the budget is spent on defense. Israel lives on the front lines, the last outpost of the West and the Muslim East. And according to statistics, every nine weeks this country enters a military conflict. Therefore, Israel needs a modern defense system against enemy mines, missiles, and drones. And today, we'll tell you what we know about Israel's new secret laser weapons. This small country managed to surprise the world again with its innovative designs. We'll tell you how the laser military program was born in this country, how many difficulties had to be overcome, why did the Iron Dome first appear, and why it was decided to supplement it with the Iron Beam, and what is it all about, how soon the Israeli army will fight enemy mines, missiles, and drones. Israel as a state that is in constant conflict with the Arab world is simply obliged to have weapons that would allow it to effectively fight the enemy, being outnumbered many times including the number of weapons. In this regard, the laser is the ideal anti-aircraft and missile defense weapon, which has three major advantages over other types of weapons. The first is ease of aiming and use, including against high speed and highly maneuverable targets at close ranges. The first is ease of aiming and use, including against high speed and highly maneuverable targets at close ranges. After all, it's one thing to aim a rocket that flies, even at supersonic speed, but at a distance of hundreds of kilometers along a predictable trajectory. In this case, the air defense system has time to aim and launch an anti-aircraft missile, and it's quite another matter if the same attacking rocket is at a distance of only a few kilometers, when the flight time is calculated in a couple of seconds. And besides, it maneuvers. Destroying it is a task many times more difficult. For laser weapons, you don't need to calculate the lead, think where the enemy missile will fly in a couple of seconds, you just aim at the target and shoot. The second advantage is the relatively low cost of destroying the target. The Qasem rocket, which the Arabs literally bombarded Israel with, costs several hundred dollars. The Tamir missile from the Iron Dome missile defense system is around $80,000. If you spend $80,000 to destroy several hundred dollars, no economy will survive. In a laser weapon, one shot costs only a couple of dollars. The third advantage is the lack of recharge time. One launcher contains 20 Tamir missiles. After using them, it takes several hours to reload. During this time, the sector that this battery protects becomes virtually defenseless. The laser shoots all the time, it doesn't need to reload. In other words, Israel, like no other country, needs a laser air defense system. Therefore, Israeli specialists took up the topic of combat lasers in the mid-70s. With the participation of the IAI and Raphael companies, the main aspects of such weapons were researched and prototypes were built. In addition, it was possible to draw conclusions and determine the prospects for the entire direction. In 1976, the laboratory tested the first gas dynamic laser with a power of about 10 kilowatts. Later, the development of chemical type systems began. According to the results of the development, experts have established that a combat laser with sufficient characteristics can be created only in the distant future and only under favorable circumstances. And in this, they were not mistaken. The second attempt to create laser weapons by the Israelis was made 20 years later in the mid-90s. In July 1996, the United States and Israel agreed to develop a joint project for a promising combat laser complex. The project received the official designation THEL or MTHEL. Mobile Tactical High Energy Laser. The second name of the project is Nautilus. Its goal was to create a close zone missile defense laser complex. The THEL or MTHEL complex was based on a chemical laser using deuterium fluoride. This product was supposed to develop a power of up to 2 megawatts. 
This power was sufficient to destroy artillery shells and unguided rockets in flight. At the same time, the laser itself needed a set of various additional equipment to ensure its performance and the solution of the assigned combat missions. The development of the project was accompanied by great difficulties. The completion dates for the various stages were constantly shifting forward, and although during the tests of 2000-2001, the Thel complex was able to successfully destroy 28 unguided missiles and 5 artillery shells moving along predictable ballistic trajectories in flight, the military did not like it because of its high complexity and high cost along with very modest characteristics. Therefore, in 2005, Israel withdrew from the Mthel project and switched to the development of the Kapat Barzil Iron Dome missile defense system, which hits targets in the old proven way, with the help of interceptor missiles. And now, after another 20 years, a third attempt was made to create a laser weapon. In 2014, the Israeli company Rafael presented a new project of the missile defense system called Karen Barzel, Iron Ray. It was supposed to build a mobile system on a car chassis capable of hitting air targets of various types with the help of a laser beam. First of all, the targets of this complex were to be rockets, shells, and mines. A high potential was also ensured when working on unmanned aerial vehicles. The Karen Barzell complex includes two trucks with containers with laser systems. A high-power solid-state laser is used. For target detection, its own radar station is provided. The command post is responsible for the interaction of the components of the complex. The Iron Ray complex must independently search for dangerous objects, then aim one or two lasers at them. Depending on the type of target, its destruction requires the transfer of heat energy within a few seconds. Simultaneous shooting of two lasers at one object is possible. The maximum range to the target is determined at 7 kilometers. Development of the Iron Beam accelerated sharply amid the growing threat of precision missiles from Hezbollah and Operation Northern Shield in December 2018 on the border with Lebanon. The Department for the Development of Arms and Technologies, headed by Danny Gold, coordinates all work on the creation of laser weapons. The cost of the program is several billion shekels. Although the program is classified, defense industry sources say the developers have overcome what were previously seen as major obstacles to such a project. First of all, they managed to create a laser that quickly and accurately focuses on a target. Other problems associated with the development of such systems include the enormous amount of energy required for them, the threat of environmental contamination, problems with mobility, and the inability to shoot down targets in difficult weather conditions. Nevertheless, the Israeli Ministry of Defense is now determined to bring the Iron Beam to active duty by any means. Since, in fact, there's no alternative to it, from the point of view of the military political Israeli establishment, the capabilities of the Iron Dome missile defense system have been exhausted. Since entering service in 2011, the system has intercepted approximately 2,000 missiles. During the latest escalation on the Gaza border, 80% of the missiles were intercepted, and the military predicts that in the event of a serious conflict, 1,500 missiles a day will be fired at Israel. The Iron Dome will obviously not be able to deal with such a load, and all the stocks of missiles will be depleted. On January 8, 2020, Israel announced significant advances in the development of laser weapons, which are already being field-tested in the Gaza Strip. The interception rate is close to 100%. The tactics of using laser missile defense were also clarified. It'll operate at short distances from several hundred meters to several tens of kilometers, in this case, the cost of intercepting a target will only be a few dollars and not about a hundred thousand as in the Iron Dome. They promised to put the system on alert in the same 2020, but so far no such messages have been received. We think that this is due to the secrecy of the program. This system will be the fifth in a layered Israeli missile defense system in addition to the Hetz, Sharvet Kasmim, and Iron Dome systems. Israel also said that along with the Iron Beam, two more laser combat systems are being tested. The first is designed for installation on a truck or armored personnel carrier. It should provide protection for units within a radius of 3 to 4 kilometers from mortar and rocket attacks and from unmanned aircraft. Its field trials will begin in 2022. There's no doubt that this system is almost complete. On February 5, 2020, the Israeli TV channel Khan 11 reported on the testing of a new laser installation, Blade of Light, 
designed to destroy explosive devices attached by terrorists to balloons in the air. The installation was designed for the Magov divisions and the Gaza division. According to Khan 11, over the past three weeks, this installation has destroyed about 70 bundles of balloons carrying explosive devices. The tests were found to be successful. The second system is intended for installation on transport aircraft such as Hercules and is designed to intercept missiles above the line of clouds. Its tests are scheduled for 2024. Israel already showed a video of testing such an airborne system. It's reported that the laser can work in any meteorological conditions, that is, neither cloudiness nor fog is an obstacle. For now, the destruction of the drone occurs from a distance of one kilometer, but Israeli experts promise to increase this distance by 20 times. Israel has once again confirmed its reputation as one of the leading developers of modern weapons systems. The small country has managed to meet the challenges faced by much larger powers with much larger financial systems. So far, only Russia has declared that they were able to supply laser weapons to the troops. We're talking about the Paris Vet system. And the United States and China are still at only the stages of experiments. 